Hello and welcome to an instruction video how to perform a duct leakage test using a TSI Airflow Panda positive duct and negative duct accreditation system. This is that we will be using for this demonstration and we prepared also a piece of uh, duct work, a little run of duct over here and that we will test during this test session. The Panda consists of several parts that are all included. There is the test rig itself, which contains the fan and the motor, the fan motor speed controller. And there is an accessories box, which includes all the accessories that you need for, Panda, for the duct leakage testing. There is the instruments that are included with the Panda. There is a TA465 multifunction instrument. And there is a PVM 610 micro manometer. Tubings, temperature probe, and also the low flow nozzle we will talk about later are included as well. To connect the Panda unit to the duct under test, we need a flexible duct work. The flexible duct work is included and it's stored here. So you can just take this out of the Panda and also this tube you can remove to make the Panda even lighter in weight if you have to carry it on stairs. Now this duct, uh, flexible duct needs to be connected to the ductwork under test. What we need for this is a so-called duct adapter plate. This duct adapter is included also with the Panda. Um, what you need to do is you have to create an opening for the flexible duct. And also important, on the other side, there is a port for the static pressure measurement. This also needs to have a direct through connection to the duct. The flexible ducting you put on like this. You simply put your flexible duct over the duct adapter plate. The included clamps to fix the the duct, the flexible duct on the duct adapter plate. There is this, you can adjust them in size if needed. The next step is to connect the flexible ducting to the Panda itself. For positive pressure testing, we use uh, the fan outlet, which is on this side, and it's also written clearly on it. For negative pressure testing, we would use the inlet of the fan, which is on this side and is also clearly written for negative testing here. This is how easy it is to attach the duct to the panda. One part of the leakage testing also needs the static pressure, the test pressure in the ductwork. We need to know the pressure, we need to measure it. There is a uh, a long blue tubing uh, that comes with the ponder and we just get it out of the box, connect it to the static pressure port on the duct adapter plate, while the other end to the PVM 610 instrument which is the one to measure the static pressure of the duct. The panda and the ductwork are now connected together. A few things to prepare on the duct leakage tester itself. The TA465 multifunction instrument uh, contains the application that is uh, used for the ductwork leakage testing. As this instrument also co um, compensates for air, air density, because it measures barometric pressure with the included barometric pressure sensor, but it needs a temperature signal from the air that's used for leakage testing. The temperature we will measure with this thermocouple. The thermocouple is also included in the kit, and you simply place it here where it shows thermocouple one. The electric connection is made on the uh, bottom side of the instrument. 
Oops. And this is, doesn't matter which of the two ports you use, both work. The other end, there is the two pressure ports. And the TA465 does the airflow measurement. So it measures the air that goes into the ductwork. For high flows, we use the built-in flow grid. And there is connections to the flow grid, a positive and negative connection on the test rig. And you simply connect the, the red tube to the positive pressure port and the blue tube to the negative pressure port of the TA465. The box is also a good place to put your instruments during the measurement. So you have a, a place to put them. We switch both instruments on now and allow them to warm up a little bit. So you can also do this, switch them on a little bit earlier. You can see that both instruments here are already zeroed, but if they show uh, any pressure, you can zero the instruments, the TA465, by going into the menu and the first menu item is the zeroing function. You press this and it automatically zeroes the instrument. On the PVM 610, the, right, the button on the right, uh, right underneath the screen, has the zeroing function. Now we will start and pressurize the ductwork. To do so, we will switch on the fan and then regulate on and run and then regulate the fan speed until we reach our given test pressure on the PVM 610 unit. Let's say in this case we want to reach 0.5 inches water gauge. There is no need for the pressure to be extremely precise because we will put in the actual number of the pressure into the, the duct leakage test application. Let's have a look to the duct leakage test application. Now we will put in the actual static test pressure that we can read and find on the PVM 610 instrument. At the moment it's actually 475. So let's put this into the TA465 instrument in the duct leakage application. Select static pressure, and then we go into it and change the value to, oh, that was a bit too far, to 475. And now we are ready to run the test. Actually, it's not, the test is not taking samples at the moment. This is more an information screen. From the top to the bottom, let me explain the different values. The leak factor on the, in the first line is the actually measured leak. And the second line, the leak limit, is actually the calculated leak limit based on our input. There was the pressure, the tightness class, and the standard to be used. Be below that, you find the leak rate, so you find the uh, airflow measurement, which is 55.8.6 liters uh, per second at the moment. There is a status indicator which already here explains us it shows high. That means that the leakage is too high for the selected duct class. So we don't have to start a test. We don't have to take samples now because we already know that we will fail. The next thing, the next uh, it shows on the informative screen on the TA465 is the selected flow measuring device, which is the flow grid in this case, the barometric pressure, the temperature where this is needed for the density correction, and just for information there, and then the, the test time 
which is not elapsed now because we haven't started the test. And um, the, the, the test ID, which is 001, so if you press save after the test is done, it will be stored in there. As you may remember, we found that the leakage rate for this ductwork was too high. So we used the time now to look after the leakages, we sealed them, and we prepared the duct now for the final leakage testing. So you can see now on the display, if you have a closer look, the status instead of high now says OK, which indicates that the, the leak limit, that the leak, leakage rate is now under the leak limit. And if you have a closer look, the leak factor is now 0 0.106, which is below the leak limit 0.1. Seven, uh, 0.57. So we know that now we are in a good condition to start the test, and I will do that. I said this test will run only for one minute, while we recommend a real test to run at least for five. As you can see now, the test is finished. And you see the result in the status line, which says it's pass. On the bottom end of the display, you see that now the word save appeared. So this is when you pass the test, you press the save button, and the results, including the parameters you set, will be saved into, a f into the instrument, can be downloaded to your computer as a comma-separated file. So you can import this into an Excel spreadsheet and create a report. As you can see now, the display shows another message on the status line. It says under range. The reason for that is we selected the flow grid to be the flow measuring device. The flow grid allows to measure flows from 10 liters per second up to 200 liters per second. If we want to measure flows that are below 10 liters per second, we need to use the low flow nozzle. Let me show this, you this nozzle in a minute. This is what the low flow nozzle looks like. The low flow nozzle is, yeah, is a Venturi type nozzle that is used to measure flows in the, with the Panda if the flow is below 10, meters, 10 liters per second. The nozzle has a measurement range from 1 to 13 liters per second, so there is a little overlap between the grid and this nozzle. This nozzle, if you want to use the nozzle, needs to be attached to the fan inlet. And then the pressure ports need to be connected to the TA465 instruments in the same way like we did before with the flow grid. So there is a red and a blue tubing. The pressure ports are clearly marked with plus in red and minus in blue. So this shouldn't be a problem. If you need to change the flow device from grid to nozzle, this is under flow device, and you have the two options, either flow grid or nozzle. And then once the test is done, hopefully successfully with a pass result, you simply pack up your Panda test unit, and you just move on to the next duct leakage test. Now let's put the things back in, in where they belong. Remove the flex.
and put it into its tube container. Finally, the power cord. You close the box. Okay, that was it and goodbye.